hello viewers welcome back in our previous tutorial we looked at uh, horizontal move in today's lesson we'll look at the vertical movement in interscada let's get started okay so to demonstrate this i need to draw a vertical line so i will draw a line once again from point b now again to a point i will call c so we have point c okay good so now we need another box so I'll copy use this box for the demonstration okay so we have our slider that is going to be our data for the movement we still use the same slider but then we need to change the parameters for this particular object so i open the property of the object so i will take the vertical sorry the horizontal and then now move on to the vertical because we'll be moving in the vertical direction okay so now from vertical you can see that we have top and then bottom so top is at, it's at zero and we can see our slider range is still the same so we leave this particular range the same but then our top will be our minimum value and then our bottom is going to be our maximum value okay okay and then up and down so we can see up zero and then down it's hundred but then just as we did in the previous one we need to measure but for now we leave it as such now we need to assign our expression that is going to be the data coming in which is from the slider so i pick level three and then i click on okay okay again i can now go to runtime and then observe what happens so if i move the slider you can see my object moving from top to down but basically just as it happened in the other previous tutorial we couldn't get to point c so what do we need to do we need to measure and put in the actual length of point b to c so go back to the development page and then i place my cursor here my y value is 100 and when i move down to the tip of c my y value is 440 so now it's 440 minus 100 which is going to give me 340 so i double click and go back to the property window click on vertical and then i can now specify this one to be 340 click on ok ok again we can go and now move the cursor once again perfect this time we've been able to move through the whole length of the line okay so if we want another object to be moving from bottom to top we need to draw the same object again okay double click on it then change the property so I go to vertical once again the expression data is still the same but then we will be moving from 100 to 0 index of that and this as well 0 350 I click on ok ok again I can go to runtime and then we observe perfect so we've done a quick test of uh, vertical movement now let's apply it to our conveyor so i switch to the main page okay so in the main page let me reposition this okay so let's say for instance i need a conveyor that is going to bring the bottle down to this horizontal conveyor and then the horizontal conveyor can then move it to the finish job sensor so to do this let's look for conveyor i go to the wizard this as we learned the other time i go to symbol table okay so i can scroll to conveyors And then I have this uh, this spherical conveyor. 
click on it and then I click on OK. Okay, so we have our conveyor. So we need to break just as we did in the previous tutorial. Cell symbol brick and now we can select and then go to arrange and then we can rotate perfect let's change the size okay we can position it here so we can see that the uh, object has disappeared so I have to send this one to back send to back okay so the object that is a bottle can be seen okay good so i have to rotate this one as well so that it's going to be a sensor that will sense whenever the bottle drops to this particular conveyor so i go to arrange again and then i can rotate So we have a bottle at the top of the conveyor. So now we need to apply the vertical location to it. So I double click and go to the property. Now I change it to vertical. We're moving from top to down. So here is going to be zero, 100. But our distance we need to measure. So for now, I leave it as it is. I can change here to 300. Here zero. Okay. Okay again. Now, if I move to the top, I have 110, and if I move to this section, I have 290. So, 290 minus 110, that's going to be somewhere around 180. So, for now, let me go back again and then apply 100 here. Let's see what happens, and then we can adjust as we go. Alright, so I go to runtime, switch to the main page. And then when I move, I can see my bottle moving from the top conveyor to the downside. Unfortunately, I couldn't able to reach the down. So I have to measure and get the right distance. It was somewhere around 280. Perfect. Now let's go back again. You can see it moving, moving. Good. So, okay, good. So basically that is how you apply the vertical movement and we can see how easy it is to use this very thing. In the next video we will look at the, the combination of the vertical and then the horizontal movement to get a diagonal movement. Alright, see you in the next video. Bye bye.